Clarence Wilson III. Good morning, sir. Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning, Your Honor. The last time I saw you was at the mayor's inauguration when you uh, swore him in. Mm -hmm. It was a very cold day that day. I was freezing. Oh, my Lord. Inspector Quinn. So, Mr. Wilson is here because he has uh, two, two violations. He has a parking meter violation and he has a, uh, a red light violation. And the first thing he says is, uh, <laughs> I saw you with the mayor's inauguration. You swore the mayor in, right? And then he said, it was a very cold day. Right. And then I'm like here on the end of my seat because I swore the mayor of the city of Providence in on the steps of City Hall. Mm -hmm. Right. I prepared for that. Right. I was bundled up. I gave it everything I had and I fully expected Mr. Wilson to say, and boy, you did a great job, Judge. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. You want to start all over again? Yes, sir. Oh, tell me. You were terrific. See? I tell you, Inspector. <laughs> oh, uh, that teaching moment again, Judge. <laughs> that is why I continue my swearing in until tomorrow. It's going to be 57 degrees, so you will not freeze then. But. It was a very cold day. <laughs> oh, it was. And I didn't have gloves or a scarf. Yeah. Well, why were you there? Well, because I, I've supported him. and and worked with them and whatnot. Yes. I have a new, I have a new firm, uh, Leadership and Diversity. Mm -hmm. um, that's what we specialize in. And I've been helpful to him, and he's been helpful to me. Your firm's about adversity, right? Di diversity and leadership. And co because companies are, are, are looking to become more diverse mm -hmm. and, and more mm -hmm. representative of the population of the city and the state, and so I try to help them do that. Of well, the country. That's exactly right. <clears throat> Show me someone that is not from another that whose ancestors are not from another country. That's right. There's, there isn't one. That's right. That I know of. You know? Unless uh, they were here before. Uh, well, that's right. The Native I would, Americans. I would have to go to the Narragansett Indians. Uh, or the Pequots. Unfortunately. And, yeah. The Mashantuck and the Mohegans, I've been to them a couple of times. <laughs> to the casino? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> they are definitely, uh, definitely doing wonders down there. All right. you have, what do you want to tell me about these two tickets? You have a red light violation. Let's well, take well, no, you know, um, the red light and um, the, the one ticket have, have already been heard. And um, so... I admit that I am past due on that payment, which I'll take care of today. I'm here for three parking tickets outside of my office on Way, on, uh, Way Bossett or Richmond. Parking tickets are getting dismissed. So it's just your previous judgment. I appreciate that, Your Honor. Okay. How many languages do they speak in the province school system, do you know? How many languages do I have? I really don't know. I would only be <clears throat> guessing, but I do know this, because I've spent time at, um, some time at Hope High, and especially at, at uh, Mount, Pl Mount Pleasant High School. And it's a challenge, because there are so many languages. I know, that, I know for a fact that there are over 25 languages spoken wow. in the province school system. And some of, those, some of those languages are tribal languages, mm -hmm. you know? Um, from the African continent, for example, or from mm -hmm. South America, tribal people. And so it's, it's communication is a real challenge. <clears throat> and you know what? And one of them, whoever they are, may one day be either mayor of Providence, governor of Rhode Island, or president of the United States. That's exactly That's the way it is. That's right. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Caprio. First of all, I would like to congratulate Mr. Wilson for promoting diversity and leadership within the Providence business community. Embracing diversity is the first step towards not just tolerance, but true understanding and acceptance of others. As the American business leader Malcolm Forbes once said, diversity is the art of thinking independently together. Remember, in today's global environment, embracing diversity is not just a virtue, it is a requirement for survival not just for business, but for communities and countries as well. Angel Quinton Lugo. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Good morning, Your Honor. And what is your name, please? Melanie Bell. 
Melanie Bell, mm -hmm. and you are Angel? Angel. Who was driving the car? I was. Oh, okay. So you allowed her to drive the car? Yeah. And then you got a summons? Yes, John. And then you called her up and says, hey, what's going on here? <laughs> Is that what, tell me. Yeah. What did he do? Did he call you? No, it's my husband, and I was... Well, I know, but he, he had to... lets me drive the car sometimes, and... Once in a while. Once in a while, because that's his baby. <clears throat> Nobody could drive that car, so... <laughs> Inspector Quinn, you see this? Yeah, I give him credit. I'd like to go home and pretend I had that much power to say, I'll let you drive the car. Does your wife let you drive yes, the car? Yes, well, yeah, she, she allows me to <laughs> use the other vehicle. <laughs> Now I know why he don't allow you to use the car, right? No, but I, I did stop. Maybe yeah. not a full, complete, complete stop. Yeah. But I got my license in New York, so we really don't stop oh, yeah, fully in New, in New York. York. Oh, you don't stop in New York. You don't stop at anything, <laughs> you right? Know, we do rolling stops in rolling New York. Rolling stops, right? Yeah, we just right. roll through the lights. They don't bother you. Judge, not really. We'll, find out. we'll yeah. find out she was a cab driver in New York next. <laughs> <laughs> You can drive in New York, you can drive anywhere. Yeah, now, th this car is really his baby, right? Really, I mean, it's garaged, it only comes out on yeah. nice days. He it puts high test gas in it? Always a full tank of gas. Always a full tank of gas. Yes. Now, did he, did he name the baby? Yes, Pancho, I think his name is. Pancho. The car I'm talking about. Yeah, that's the car's name, Pancho. Pancho. Yeah. How do you know it's a male? You He's a beast, Pancho. He only, he, rain doesn't touch him, snow doesn't touch him. He's washed, he's waxed, he's, yeah. I'm surprised he allows you to drive the car. I was shocked too, she but. Take, she I, just take anything she wants. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they are, they got power. <laughs> Does she need written permission for you to use the car? <laughs> <laughs> now tell me a little bit about this car. I mean, is this car a, it's a baby? It's nah, his baby. It's a it was, personal use. It yeah. was it was a car that, a yeah, that he put a lot of yeah, a baby, work right? and time into, so it's his Wears baby. With diapers and all that stuff. <laughs> 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 How often do you change the oil? Every three thousand miles. Every three thousand miles? Yes, do you do it yourself or you take it? I do it myself, yeah. You get under the car and change the oil? Yes, sir. Oh, Inspector Quinn, this is big time. I I got something outside for him to do then in a couple of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the <clears throat> violation, okay? All right. All right, let's see it with <laughs> Lisa. I want to see this baby. <laughs> hey, stop. Is that the car? Yeah. Looks nice and shiny to me, Inspector Quinn. It does, Judge. All right? Just by looking at it, I can tell the oil's fresh. <laughs> See, I, I roll, I stopped, you know. You stopped? I didn't stop and spell out S-T-O-P, but I stopped slowly and made sure it was safe to make the turn. But I didn't even know, let me tell you, I didn't even know that, like, I knew there was a camera there, but it was taking pictures for everybody, so I just followed suit. They were, they were literally you like... your picture taken. No, like no, because, I you mean, got. like, I don't, I don't, you know, like, you, you know, know, I don't want to spend my money on a picture ticket, you know what I mean? I have better things to do with my money, but, yeah. you know, everybody was getting their picture taken. I'm like, there must be something wrong with the camera. Yeah. Can it possibly everybody's picture get? But I did, you know, roll through, stopped a little bit. You, you gave it a New York stop. Absolutely. Right, I understand that. Yeah, for And real. she said she didn't exactly S-T-O-P. No, right? I didn't. You no, know how she, they she, teach you in driving she, school, you got to spell out stop. She, she P-O-T-S. That's, that's stop spelled backwards, right? <laughs> so it's, it's pots. There you go. <laughs> I have good news for you, okay? Okay. All right, we're going to look at it once more. All right. All right. All right, here we go. The light is red. And look See at my brake stop. lights go on? At, my brake lights did go on. So you didn't roll over the baby? No, I didn't, like, roll through. You know, in order to stop, you have to hit the brake. So I did. Right, you see my yeah. brake lights go on. That's a New York stop. I understand that. It is, <laughs> yeah. really. Your wife has been charged, right, for making a right-hand turn on red. And she didn't do anything wrong because there was no sign saying you cannot make a right-hand turn on red at this intersection. He told there me was that. No he sign. told me that. But why didn't you tell me that? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Because I didn't know when the sign got put up. I didn't want to lie. She didn't want to lie, but she was professing that she stopped. She stopped. She stopped. And I, I didn't I'm, say. I'm still I didn't. For the stop. You could play back my audio. I didn't house. say a full stop. I said I did a 
a, slow you know, down. a rolling you stop. Slow Inspector, down. Inspector Quinn, boy, you yeah. are a tough prosecuting <laughs> officer. Stop picking on this. I just don't want anything to happen to Poncho. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, after this, I can't drive him. <laughs> no, that's not true. That's not true. Oh, you got to bring the state of her license. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a wonderful couple. And it's yeah. nice seeing you here today. But you didn't do anything wrong. The case is going to be dismissed. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck to you. Have a okay. good day. Thanks. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.